16. What's up guys? What do I have to bend down? I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to bend down. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a rainbow chip party cake using cake mix uh, with vanilla icing because it's my mom's birthday tomorrow and I wanted to film it because I thought it would be fun. And it also means I get a video of making cake. I made a cake of, like a month ago I think for my best friend Ilana, one of my best friends Ilana. But I thought it tasted very nice. So I'm going to do it again. And before I start, I want to say that I haven't uploaded in a while. I think it's been about a month. And I do have a video that I filmed a while ago about like doing school online and stuff. But I've been really busy with doing online school and I'm almost finished the year. I think there's only a week or two left. And yeah, that's why I've been very busy. So I haven't been able to upload as much as I wanted to. Like not near as much as I wanted to. But hopefully I'll be able to from now start uploading weekly again. I just looked at the angle and it is good. So yeah, that's good. Um, my mom knows I'm making the cake, but she's out now, but I'll just make sure she doesn't come in the kitchen because I asked her to buy this vanilla icing, so she obviously knows I'm making the cake and I kind of told her because I want to see which one she wanted. So yeah, I'm probably going to wear my MasterChef apron because in case you didn't know, I was on MasterChef. No, I'm kidding. I bought it on, in a shop. I wasn't on MasterChef. But yeah, let's start baking. I'm going to put on my apron, then I'll be right but I, don't, I haven't even checked if I like have the ingredients, but I hope it is. I'm gonna go look for the ingredients. Where I obviously have that. Um. Mm -hmm. That is so good. I am more the icing and stuff like this. And I have to pour this in, put it together, and then separate it. For the two different. Why is it not working? It's gonna pop in a second. I don't feel it. Also, I washed my hands before this, obviously. So we're not like going back to school or anything, but my dad's back to work. And yeah. And you can meet up um, with more than four people at a time from different houses, but obviously you have to still maintain social distancing. But yeah, it's starting to ease up. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of online school, but luckily it's finished up. Um, next week or the week after? Next week, I think. Next Friday, I think. Um, I've been doing it for two months now. It's a long time. We're like, oh, I wonder will it be even more... What was I doing? When we got told we were going to the off school for coronavirus, we were all, we were all like, oh, I wonder will we get another two weeks after that. That would be now, it would be two months. I don't think I'm supposed to do this right. I don't think I'm supposed to. I'll just add it all in at once. I've been talking too much. Hopefully it's three. I don't know what I'm doing. I think it was I'm just gonna mix this up and then I'll be right back because watching someone mix ingredients for two hours isn't very easy. Smells like this stir fry oil because that's the only oil we have. But it looks really good. What has everyone What has everyone been doing in quarantine apart from like online school and online work or whatever? I know I did something pretty cool if I say something else. Well not I wouldn't say I did it, but like I was a masking. I applied to this modeling and acting and TV acting agency and I accepted my application. <laughs> Once lockdown has eased up, I'm gonna be going on my first photo shoot for headshots for brands and companies and stuff. So that's really exciting. I was probably thinking, how was she applied to a modeling agency and got in? I'm thinking the same thing. That stuff is still dripping. But yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I was like, oh my gosh, how did I get? Yes. Very excited about that. I'm using a mini whisk like Emma Chamberlain did because when I watched Emma Chamberlain in 2018, still watch her. When I did, she used to. When I watched her in 2018, she used to make cakes and stuff with a mini whisk, and then I'd seen one, I was like, oh, it's a mini whisk. My friend was like, it's a small whisk, yes. I'm like, it's a mini whisk, so I bought one. I still use it. You can know these things. One of these things is got like. Okay, I'm gonna divide up the mixture into two separate things and then put it in the oven. This tap won't stop dripping. Uh, I just realized I don't have cake tins. 
cake and I ate the cake last time I got them for my granny and my neighbor. So I'm gonna have to text my mom. This is, this kind of resembles a cake tin. So I could use that, I suppose. I am back. My neighbor got me cake tins. Let me type my Yes. My neighbor got me cake tins and this little piping bag thing with all these different nozzles. So yeah, my mom's still not back. I'm just gonna be like, hey, um, you can't come into the kitchen. And we do have kind of a little situation which hopefully it won't affect the taste. But because I use this, which is perfect for roasting, frying, baking, or dressings, it has a very distinct smell and taste. Kind of like a seed or like a tree bark or like a vegetable. Those were completely different things. But you know, that kind of like vegetable tree seed vibe. And that's very distinctive in the mixture. Um, because I got you to, the ingredients had to put quite a lot of oil in it. But it does say that it can be used for baking, and my mom said it can be as well. Because I was like, I need vegetable oil. She said, I have to use the oil. So I'm gonna pour these. My mom's back anyway. I got in trouble. Because hmm. I wanted to stay in the kitchen without her coming in so I can make her a cake. Anyway, back to where we were. I'm going to split these up into, as you can tell, there's a very yellow tint on it, probably from the oil, but it also could be the cake bar itself. Um, and then I'm going to put it in those two, because these, these are the cake tins, and then I'm going to put them in the cake bar. And that's it. I just tried some of the batter and it tastes so good. Oh my gosh. Two of them are almost done. Uh, the mini one and one of the big ones. I'm eating pretzels and drinking tea all the way. It tastes really good, but you can really taste the oil in it, which I was worried about, which is why I wanted to use vegetable, but my mom said I could use it. It's like stir fry. You can't slow down to that, but hopefully that will wear away in time. <laughs> so yeah, very good. Yeah. And as I said, the sprinkles melted, so it's a different colour is going so that's cool.
So I melted the marshmallow stuff that's going on the inside of the cake and there is not enough at all. So I'm gonna melt this marshmallow the little bread stick that I got for Valentine's Day. So the cake looks really bad. Like really, really bad. Look how it tastes nice. Can you see it? Okay, don't want to touch it on me because it's burning case it's hot. But I just need to type out the word. Did I just say type out the word ma'am on a cake? <laughs> what? Ma'am on top and it looks so bad. So that's why I did this really good. And I just jinxed it. So that's what happened. I know jinx is real. And I just proved it. Which is proved to you today. So yeah, then this is my amazing mini cake. Done now. And here is the final results. This is the finished cake. It doesn't look the best, but it tastes good. Um, I'll do a close up right now. I really hope you enjoyed the video, even though a lot of stuff happened. I got melted marshmallow on my phone. A lot of mishaps happened. I got melted marshmallow on my phone. I feel sick from eating too much icing and cake. Um, the cake kind of looks like a three year old made it, but you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment down below something about cake or your birthday or something about coronavirus or quarantine. I don't know, comment down below anything. Um, turn on your post notifications and subscribe, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.